second story of the night. And it really, really took me a long time to decide whether or not I was going to cover this story. Because quite frankly, I am sick and tired of covering mass bang bangs. Whatever the hell you have to say here on TikTok. Y'all know it's not a big secret that I think that we need some gun reform in this country. This kind of shit keeps happening over and over and over again. And I swear it is only happening like this in America. And I know, I know what y'all are going to say. Oh, well, it's the, it's the people, not the guns. And I, I'm not going to disagree that I think that we need mental health, more mental health support. We definitely need that. We also need stronger gun laws. It's not happening anywhere else in the world the way that it is happening here. Okay, so I'm going to get off my soapbox, but I did decide that I was, after there was another mass shooting today at University of North Carolina campus, Chapel Hill, I said, I got to get on my platform. This is why I have a platform. If you guys don't like what I talk about, then you don't have to follow me. Um, I felt like I had to tell this story because I am so sick and tired of this continuing to happen in this country. So I know you know have you all have probably heard this story, but this past Saturday, a known racist, a 21-year-old known racist, walked into a Jacksonville, Florida Dollar General with an AK-15 and a handgun, dressed in tactical gear with a mask over his face, and began shooting. And before I go any further, I do want to say that I'm going to be talking about some sensitive things here tonight that disturbed me a lot. So there's definitely lots of trigger warnings um, with this horrific case. This is 21-year-old Ryan Palmiter. Ryan is the suspect who walked into the Dollar General this past Saturday with that um, assault rifle and began shooting at anyone and everyone who had a color of skin different than his. This is the gun that Ryan actually used to shoot the number of people, three of whom died of wounds, ages 19 to 52. These were the two guns that he had, and I'm not gonna mention his name anymore, and I'm not gonna show his picture anymore because he doesn't deserve any more FaceTime. These are the two guns that he did have um, with him. As you can see, the assault rifle, had swastikas written, drawn all over him. This murderer had left three manifestos at his home, three. And all three of them talked about his hatred towards black people, many, many times using the N word as he wrote. In fact, he called it diary of a madman. Now, this asshole did live in, it's, they believe he lived in Orange, Orange Park, Florida, and he still lived with his mommy and daddy. Hmm. Now, not sure if this is important or not, but it is well noted throughout the media that the asshole was a registered Republican. His two parents were registered Democrats. And in fact, his father actually made social media posts about guns and gun control. These are his parents. Marianne and Steve. I'm not even going to say his last name because, again, doesn't deserve it. Now, again, allegedly his parents were very, very anti-gun and did not allow or want guns in their home. However, that didn't stop their asshole son from legally purchasing both of these guns earlier this year at a pawn shop. Now, it's interesting because the media has reported that this Jack's parrot head, and I think if you could see the picture before, it probably is his father, made lots and lots of um, former Twitter, now X, posts being very anti-Republican. And again, I'm not sure if this matters at all, but I mean, listen, some are saying that it could have the way that he was, you know, living in a family that were very pro-Democrat, anti-gun maybe pushed him over the edge a little bit. To me, that's all bullshit, right? You don't get pushed over the edge to do something like this, okay? You are crazy, you are racist, and that is why you did this. Apparently, he showed up. First and foremost, he was seen at the Edward Waters University campus, which is a predominantly African-American campus, okay? He was seen behind the library putting on his tactical vest. Actually, there's video of that somewhere, but again, I'm not 
posting. I'm posting as little as possible on that. Um, and he was actually stopped by a security guard. And because of that, they think they're not sure, but he did not do a rampage, which they believed he was going to start his rampage at that university, but he was stopped. The security guard did find a sheriff's officer and said, gave him a B-O-L-O, be on the lookout. So it was right after that at approximately 1.08 PM that unnamed asshole saw 52 year old Angela Carr sitting in her car in the parking lot. And he fired 11 rounds at her, killing her instantly. I think it is critical that everybody takes looks and these are the pictures that we should be looking at. These senseless victims who are at the Dollar General on a Saturday afternoon, working, shopping, being there with family and friends and did not make it home that night because of a racist asshole. Again, this pretty woman, 52 year old Angela Michelle Carr, her daughter says that she was an extremely hard working woman. She was very, very dedicated and actually worked as an Uber driver trying to save money. Allegedly, she had just dropped someone off at the Dollar General through her job with Uber when the rampage started. Her daughter said that she will be extremely missed and that her mother was her best friend. And she said, she doesn't know how she's going to go on without her. I'm probably going to mispronounce his last name, and I apologize for that. But this is um, Arnold Joseph Ligure Jr., and they called him AJ. AJ was 19 years old and had just graduated this past year from high school. AJ was working at Dollar General, so he could make some pocket change, his dad said. His dad also said that AJ was so bright, such a smart boy, and had his life in front of him. He was just starting out his life when he went to work on a Saturday afternoon and was shot dead. And the third victim is 29-year-old Gerald Deshaun Gallion. Gerald was a very proud father. He was with his father or with his baby's mother for years. And while they weren't married, they were very, very committed to one another. And she says that he was there from the first day of her pregnancy up until the day of this horrific incident. In fact, he was supposed to have, that was the weekend he was supposed to have his daughter this past weekend that he stopped at the Dollar General and never made it out. His girlfriend says, how, how am I supposed to explain this to our baby? How am I supposed to explain this to his daughter that his, her daddy is no longer with us because of racism? She said again that he was such a devoted father and co-partner, co-parent, and was just an amazing man. How do you explain that to his daughter, that he isn't coming home because so much hatred from one person? The next photo I'm going to show you is a still shot of, there's actually video of it, um, so you can just see how freaking scary this would be. Trigger warning. This photo is horrific, but here's the asshole shooting into Angela's car. Again, 11 rounds. This is in the parking lot. And this is him as he entered the store, full tactical gear, and he was screaming, screaming. I did not want to say what he was allegedly saying, but imagine you're at the Dollar General and this is what you see. Now witnesses and people who were actually there said that he allowed white people to leave the store. Then he just went on a rampage and was shooting senselessly, killing as many black people as he could. And yes, he bought the guns legally. And yes, he was treated in 2017 as the Baker Act, which is where you're institutionalized against your will for mental issues. And guess what? None of that freaking matters. What matters is that there was another mass shooting in this country. Three people, and then the asshole suspect who actually took his own life because he's such a wimp. So in total, four people are gone this evening because of another mass shooting incident here in this country. You guys, something has to do something has to change. The systematic racism in this country is horrific. We need stronger gun laws. Somebody has to say or do something. This is not a red versus blue issue. This is not a Republican versus Democrat issue. This is a human issue. Something needs to be changed. Tonight, three loved ones, three loved ones, the families of three loved ones are not with them tonight because they decided to go shopping on a Saturday afternoon. It's an issue you'll only see here in America.